So now that you've like prepared your data, let's say that you're actually trying to figure out what type of learning problem that you're uh, tackling with your machine learning approach. Um, so some common types of learning problems include classification and regression. Can you tell me a little bit about the differences between those? Yeah, so classification and uh, classification and regression rather refer to the type of outcome predicted by a supervised machine learning algorithm. Uh, and so in the case of classification, that will usually predict some sort of category. So in the simplest case, a uh, yes or a no, uh, while as regression will be predicting some sort of numerical or continuous value, for example, a person's height. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, can you foresee instances where uh, a problem could be both classification or regression? And if so, why might you choose one or the other? Sure. So let's say there was a case where the outcome was a numerical variable. And so, of course, you could use regression to formulate that problem. However, you could also bin the different values into different categories, right? So for example, in the case of height, maybe you can bin them based on ranges. So you could have one that says low, one that says medium, one that says high, uh, and then you can turn that into a classification problem. Uh, and I think the general reasoning is making uh, it easier for the algorithm to distinguish and learn based on the actual patterns underlying in the data. Uh, sometimes, uh, for example, in the case of the height, uh, the scale is kind of all over the place. Um, you know, there's kind of a, a bigger space that you have to be able to predict. Um, and so getting the underlying pattern of whether it's in the medium range or the higher range might be something that's easier for the algorithm to learn. And it can also be something that is perhaps more useful for the algorithm to learn. Um, so I think it just depends on the use case that you have and, and what makes most sense for, uh, you know, your particular problem. Right. Yeah. And a lot of these intuitive insights uh, that you have about the data can be really important when it comes to like feature engineering or data pre-processing. 